Hello YouTube! Japan is one of the safest places in the world, but that was not the same in the 80s. Today, we are going to talk about the death of the girl named Junko Furuta after being detained during 40 days. So let's get started! Junko Furuta, a 18-year-old girl, is a good student and a well worker living in Misato. She already accepted a full-time job that she planned to do after her graduation. She already had a hopeful future. However, this event take all of that hope from her. The start of the nightmare on November 25, 1988, Miyano and Minato spotted Furuta cycling home after she'd finished work. Minato kicked Furuta off her bike and fled. Miyano approached Furuta and offered her a safe ride home. Furuta accepted his help. Against all odds, Miyano drove her to a nearby warehouse where he revealed his connections with the Yakuza. He raped her in the warehouse and again in a nearby hotel, threatening to kill her. Miyano called three of his friends, Minato, Cho, Ogura and Yasushi Watanabe. This group had a history of gang rape and had recently kidnapped and raped another girl whom they later freed. These youths searched for the girl's identity papers, found it, and threatened Furuta that if she tried to escape, they would kill her family. The house, which belonged to Minato's parents, soon became Furuta's place of detention. Furuta's parents contacted the police on 27 November to report their daughter missing. Furuta, forced to call her parents, said she was with friends and was safe. Police investigations then came to a halt. Minato's parents and brother did not intervene because they were aware of the links of Miyano with the Yakuza. Minato himself became violent towards his family. The Torture Furuta was held captive in the Minato residence for 40 days, where she was repeatedly beaten, raped, and tortured. They inserted objects into her genitals, force-fed her large quantities of alcohol, forced her to smoke several cigarettes at a time, and inhale pent thinner. They even left her on the balcony in the middle of the night with little clothing. Miano repeatedly burned Furuta's legs and arms with a lighter fluid. Furuta was suffering from severe malnutrition after receiving only small quantities of food and eventually only milk. On January 4, 1989, the group kicked and punched her. After the kicks, she fell onto a stereotype and collapsed in a convulsive fit. They continued to beat her and poured lighter fluid on her tights, arms, face, and stomach and set her on fire again. Furuta finally succumbed to her injuries and died. To death When Furuta died, the group wrapped her body in blanket and stuffed her into an overnight bag. They then put her body in a 55-gallon drum and filled it with wet concrete. At around 8 p.m., they loaded it and finally deposited the drum in a cement truck in Koto, Tokyo. On January 23, 1989, Miyano and Ogura were arrested for the gang rape of the 19-year-old girl they had kidnapped in December. On March 29, two police officers came to question them. During the interrogation, 
Miano believed that one of the officers was aware of his guilt in Furuta's murder and told the police where to find Furuta's body. The police found the jam containing Furuta's body the next day. She was identified by her fingerprints. On April 1, 1989, Joe Ogura was arrested for a separate sexual assault and then rearrested for Furuta's murder. The arrest of Watanabe, Minato, and Minato's brother followed. Several other accomplices who participated in Furuta's abuse were officially identified. The Justice In July 1990, a lower court sentenced Hiroshi Miyano to 20 years in prison. This was the second highest sentence in Japan. He was 18 at the time of the murder. Miyano's mother reportedly paid 50 million yen, so $425,000 in compensation ordered by the civil court. In January 2013, Miyano was arrested again for fraud. In the absence of sufficient evidence, he was released without charge later that month. Nobuharu Minato, who was initially sentenced to 4 to 6 years, was again sentenced to 5 to 9 years by Judge Yanase on appeal. He was 16 at the time of the murder. Minato's parents and brother were not charged. After his release, Minato moved in with his mother. He has not worked since. In 2018, Minato was arrested again for attempted murder after beating a 32-year-old man with a metal rod and cutting his throat with a knife. Yazushi Watanabe, who was initially sentenced to 3 to 4 years in prison, received an increased sentence of 5 to 7 years. He was 17 at the time of the murder. For his role in the crime, Cho Ogura spent eight years in a juvenile prison before being released in August 1999. He was 17 at the time of the murder. In July 2004, he was arrested for assaulting Takatoshi Izono. He was sentenced to seven years in prison for assaulting Izono and has been released. It was also reported that Ogura had exhausted his father's savings money that was intended to be provided as restitution to Furuta's family. Ogura's mother is said to have vandalized Furuta's grave, claiming that she had ruined her son's life. Junko Furuta's funeral took place on April 2, 1989. She was buried with her future work uniform. Her diploma was then presented to her parents. At least three books have been written about the crime, as well as a number of film adaptations, including the 2004 film Concrete. The story also inspired a number of similar stories in films and horror manga series. And that's it. This is the tragic story of Junko Furuta that was done in a horrible way. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe and press the notification bell to receive other fascinating stories. Until next time.